What's going on guys, this is Adam from the Ernster Sanctuary here, and today we're going to talk about a really cool species of snake that I found in my backyard, the California King Snake. Ever since I was a little boy, I've been passionate about saving and educating people about our wildlife. Black A sparkle was lit in my eye by the late great Steve Irwin. That sparkle is something I will always be thankful for. I hope to create the same sparkle for many others. You're watching the Ernster Sanctuary. Alright guys, so this snake is not not really common around my area, so I was pretty surprised to find him. Um, the other day my dad told me to come outside, he saw something, and so you know I went out there and this is what I saw. In the past, around my house, I've found you know ringneck snakes, garter snakes, stuff like that, um, Southern Pacific rattlesnakes, um, but you know never a California king snake. So this is a pretty rare find for me. I'm pretty excited about this little guy. Um, as you can see, this guy's a beautiful black and white pattern on him. If I can get him to turn around here, I can show you his belly, which is really cool too. There you go. Hopefully, you can see that. This is what they look like naturally occurring in the wild. You know, it's not a morph or anything. It might seem like that because you got these gorgeous bands and everything, but just a really pretty snake in general. These guys are called king snakes because they actually eat other snakes in the wild. That's their main food source, um, as well as other little lizards and little frogs as they can find them. But, you know, these guys will take down rattlesnakes, any sort of rattlesnakes around here. Really good rattlesnake hunters. Any of the ribbon snakes or uh, garter snakes or ring, ring neck snakes around here, these guys will have a go at them. Uh, these guys are actually pretty common in the pet trade. These guys go for about $100 uh, in the pet trade. But like I said, this guy's wild caught. Just a gorgeous snake. Um, you know, if I, if I were to keep this guy in captivity, uh, it might be a little bit harder to get him to eat uh, rodents, rodents, pinkies, and stuff like that. You know, because he is accustomed to eating snakes out in the wild. So yeah, you know, if you did get these guys eating pinkies in captivity and then you were to release them into the wild... Um, you know, they might have a harder time surviving. They're not going to really find rodents, um, you know, just a pinky lying around at any, any certain time. It's kind of hard to find. But yeah, like I said, these guys are common in the pet trade, but, uh, you know, this is my first time ever seeing a wild one. As you can see, this is a very calm species. He's not striking or musking or anything. Um, I really wish I could keep this guy, but, you know, my, my intuition, my heart, and everything else tells me to, uh, you know, release him back to where he belongs. I've already kind of named him Oreo. As you can tell, he's got colors of an Oreo. But, you know, he's definitely going back into the wild. So around around my street, there's actually a ton of uh, domesticated cats. You know, I have a cat. My neighbors have tons of cats. And if they were to see this guy, I'm sure they'd have a, a pretty good go at him. So, you know, feral, feral animals are a big problem to native wildlife um, around our country and around our globe, actually. Um, it's a, one of the biggest threats to uh, endangered species and, you know, decrease in biodiversity. Because of that, there's actually a mountain range behind my house that is a protected, a protected mountain range called the San Gabriel Mountains. And I'm sure this guy came down from there. So uh, we're going to turn him back to where he belongs. You know, just uh, get him out of harm's way and make sure that no cats or dogs or anything like that gets to him. And, you know, hopefully he'll be able to live a long, happy life in the wild. And, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll see him again one day. So, yeah, I'm going to take this guy into my, uh, the mountain range behind my house. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you there. All right, guys, so here we are in the San Gabriel Mountains. Uh, these are actually the fastest growing mountains in the world, believe it or not. Uh, faster than the Himalayans and everything like that. So here we go. This is our little king snake we got here. Um, you know, this environment is perfect for him. You can find little snakes and lizards, uh, you know, anything else around here, which is perfect. So yeah, we're just going to let him go. Um, this is his natural habitat. There's no, he's not an invasive species or anything. Here you go, little dude. We'll hopefully see you in a few years. When you're nice and big. Go find a lizard. Yeah, go find a lizard to munch on. He doesn't want to go. I know, he, he loves me. <laughs> See you later, dude. Find him in there. See, that's a perfect habitat for him. He's got coverage and lots of food to eat around here. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.